outfits for summer. Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel for another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tasha and today I've got pieces that are perfect for the season. Some of the items that I've got are radar items, which means they're in my shopping basket. They might never get checked out, but we shall see. So if you're interested to see, stick around and let's get straight into today's video. So first off, I've got this beautiful two-piece cord set from Kai Collective. You guys, let us get into the colors and the detail of this two-piece cord set. I love the swirl pattern that is going on in this shirt and the trousers. The melanin is just, mm very happy and the way that the colors complement my skin tone i absolutely love the use of the lilacs the deep purples the peach the orange to me this just reminds me of a beautiful sunset and you know the different phases that the sunset goes through so you've got the purples the blue the orange the yellow until it finally sets so for me that is the image and the vision that I got from the colors. The texture and the material is sort of like this crinkled material um, and it's very lightweight. And I think this would be perfect for a sunny summer day and also a vacation moment. So I can't wait to wear this, not only on vacation, but just out and around during summer. One thing as well about this shirt that I absolutely fell in love with is the detail in the sleeve. These sleeves are exaggerated. They have this dramatic look and feel to them, which I think is just a unique touch. So you can wear the top in a couple of different ways. The first way I'm styling it is just as it comes. And for me, I feel like it takes away from my structure and my shape a little bit so what I did is I tied it into a knot tie detail right up top so you can then see the waist and then I feel like it kind of then gives my gives me my shape back so you can see in the cut out the way that I've tied the top I basically put one side into my bra and then I've under looped it taking the other side up and out into my bra and I feel like that makes sure that the knot tie stays in place all day and then I don't have to worry about anything coming undone that type of stuff so that is one hack whenever you're doing like a knot tie detail if you can just incorporate the bra it will help it stay in place for a very long time if not the whole day with this two-piece cord set you don't really get a choice of sizing it's either small medium or large and I picked out the medium and I think it fits perfectly I did have a little bit of a fitting issue with the trousers I've got a smaller waist to the hips so the hips fit perfectly where it feels a little bit too big is around the waistband so I'll just have to get that taken in so that it cinches in the waist in the right way I love the length of the trousers the trousers do graze the floor but in a very graceful way it's not extremely long this would also be perfect for my tall girlies because the trousers do have a lot of length I feel like I'm able to not only wear it with my sandals I can also wear them with heels and I still maintain that length and also a key thing about a two-piece collar set is the fact that you can always mix and match and it looks like a completely different outfit. So two-piece cord sets are always a winner in my eyes. So next up we are switching gears. I picked up this asymmetrical skirt from Zara. You guys know that I live for an asymmetrical moment. So when I saw this skirt, I said, this is a bit of me. And I had to put it in the basket and check out. This skirt is a beautiful reimagined denim skirt. I believe they must have made this out of two skirts and piece them together. I put this up in a size large and I believe this was $45.99 from Zara. I will link everything that I talk about down below in the description box for any of you guys that are interested. The waist sits perfectly. I don't have to worry about any alterations. And I'm absolutely here for the denim skirt trend because at the moment, denim in general is trending, but denim skirts are in. And I believe they will be in for autumn winter season as well. So with this, I can take this from some and transition it very nicely into the autumn winter period lately I've been trying to get pieces that are not only a statement piece, but also a piece that I can rewear reimagine and restyle so this piece is definitely doing everything that it needs to do and the waistband has a double detail to it you actually close it once at the bottom and then you also have this one that you close again so it gives you like a sort of the look that you're wearing two skirts which mm, I'm here for that detail okay so this is made up of 100% cotton and I love how it feels it's not extremely heavy it's light enough to be a summer denim skirt but then it's also heavy enough for it to be a winter skirt so very 
versatile. You guys can see me styling this skirt with this top that I've currently got on and it's this white gorgeous corseted top. The top is not entirely corseted because it does have like a, a ruched detail in the back that allows more room for expansion. This is actually recommended to size down and I got myself a size small and this was $29.99. However, I do feel like it is still just that slightly big in the chest area and the, the neck area. However, for somebody who is usually a medium, you'd be able to get away with getting a small because the back does stretch and then it allows for more room in the chest area as well for me i would probably be able to get away with a extra small simply because i've got a smaller chest and for me white is a staple in summer because not only does it reflect the the sun back and it keeps you cooler but it also adds just the freshness and a crispness to your outfit so i would definitely recommend white anything during summer for sure Next up, we're moving into the accessories. First of all, I've got a pair of sunglasses by Dolce & Cabana. So I picked these sunglasses up in Spain during my recent travels. So we went into Sunglasses Hut in Barcelona and I went in there looking for the Celine sunglasses. I'm gonna insert a picture here. So all the influencer girlies in the UK have these sunglasses and it's safe to say I have been influenced. So I went in there looking for the these specific Celine glasses and they didn't have them. The next alternative that he was able to show me were these Dolce & Cabana cat eye sunglasses and at first I was a little bit skeptical, a little bit hesitant because they do remind me of my Prada cat eye sunglasses. It's sort of a similar shape but they are very different. I got these in a tortoise brownie colour and I love the detail on the side and the temple of the sunglasses. We've got the D and the G for Dolce & Gabbana on there. And it's a small, small flex, you know. You know, I ain't mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. It's one thing that made the deal sweeter when we were buying the sunglasses is this mini gift that we got from Sunglasses Hut. It's this very practical glasses care kit. You open it up and you see the cleaning cloth that it comes with. A screwdriver pen situation and you can use this to either tighten your sunglasses or you can use it to loosen your sunglasses the last thing that comes in this care kit is this glasses sanitizer if you're anything like me and you wear makeup sometimes when you take your sunglasses on and off you transfer oils and makeup onto them it's small and practical enough to fit into your handbag so it's very travel friendly which is one thing that I love about this as well and also another thing about sunglasses hub there's Sunglasses are usually at a discounted price compared to if you go into a an actual Dolce & Gabbana store or if you go into an actual Prada store. So that's one thing to note if you're on the hunt for a good deal when it comes to your sunglasses. So next up, I've got this beautiful belt by By Far. And this has to be one of my first practical luxury belts. When I came to filming this video, I was so surprised that I don't actually own a practical belt. Like all my belts are fashion belts, so they are huge. They're like statement pieces and I don't have a practical belt for skirts, jeans, trousers, nothing until now. So this belt is by by far. There's nothing extraordinary about this belt or anything kind of statement about it. It feels nice to touch and it's a leather belt in black and it has a gold detail with by far just on the side here and it's very practical. I've been able to wear this with my summer outfits to work. I've been able to wear it with jeans, skirts. So again, very practical, but also very cute, very neat. I got this in a size medium. It does come in different Different sizes. I'll insert the centimeters over here so you guys can see. Medium fits perfectly around the waist area where the trousers are sit. However, it is it would be too big to wear around the stomach area just because the holes only go so far. So if they extended a little bit further, which I believe the small probably would, it would be able to fit around the stomach area and I'd be able to wear it with more dresses and stuff like that. So yeah, this belt by, by far is a beautiful addition into my wardrobe and this is gonna last a long time because it's a leather belt. So next up, I've got these pair of sandals and these are on my fashion radar, meaning I've not pulled the trigger just yet, but 
they're on my heart in my basket just waiting for me to press check out but i'm in two minds so hopefully you guys can help me out on this one whether to pull the trigger or not the next item are these beautiful jw anderson statement gold chain sandals you guys me tasha last year i took a look at these sandals and i was like this is not for me these are ugly these are what 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 but me tasha this year i feel like as you get older or as time goes on your style evolves and right now i'm in a time where i'm into my statement pieces i'm into bold pieces so these sandals popped back up when i was looking through the farfetch sale the shoes were going for around 274 pounds but now that the sales are over the shoes are back up to their original original price of 495 now i definitely now that i've seen them go down to 274 i don't think i'd be able to buy them full price i just have to wait for the next sale and then definitely pull the trigger so the shoe has the jw anderson signature bold gold chain detail on top of it and then it has sort of like a, a rounded mule look to it i love the fact that it looks very very comfortable it sort of follows the birkenstock feel and look of a shoe and then it's also made of the leather which will add to the durability and also just the aesthetic of the whole shoe ah uh, let me know down below if you are feeling the shoe what you think should i pull the trigger should i wait what do you guys think i would love to know so i'm gravitating towards more of a black because that's the next color sandal that i'm looking for when it comes to a luxury sandal so i think maybe i'll definitely go for a black which brings me to the next radar item that i've got in my shopping basket or on my fashion radar and the and this is the the gucci sandals the double g logo sandals i have seen this sandal in a green in an orange in a pink i am he i'm here for this shoe like 100 percent however the only thing that keeps stopping me from pulling the trigger again is the fact that i've got a similar shape in the orange sandals and mm, the comfortability is not really there when it comes to breaking in this type of a shoe once you've broken in this kind of a flat shoe you're fine you're you're smooth sailing however the initial pain is mm, no 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 i remember trying to break in my aran sandals that was a whole nother ball game it took my skin off and everything and it took some time to recover because i don't know who i thought i was but i thought let me just take this shoe out of the bag and wear it for an entire day big mistake and i was on holiday we were walking up and down doing all sorts big mistake if you're gonna wear the orange sandals for the first time i'd probably suggest breaking it in probably at home wear some socks with it stretch it out i don't know but just do not do what i did which is just go full force straight into it and walk the entire day in your sandals they're not comfortable but right now i do have to say that they are the most comfortable pair of pairs of sandals that i own i love how they feel on the ground and everything but that's because it's taken me about a year or so to break them in and the leather is finally soft and to a point where i just love wearing them you know they're comfortable the only other thing that i would advise against when it comes to the oran sandals is getting the all white sole and the all white top i wish i had known i mean michael at the time had told me not to get the white ones the all white ones but now i believe hermes has come out with the white orange sandal with a brown sole so you're less likely to see when the shoe starts to get dirty when the shoe starts to have a little bit of wear and tear because right now i bought the orange sandals that are all white and the sole is just is dirty dirty as in at the moment i'm looking down because they are literally on the floor but at the moment you can see all the scuffs in great detail because the sole is white and anytime if for example the, the floor is dusty or or i wear like it's just so it's not it's not cute so i believe the next pair of sandals that i get is gonna have to be a darker color so i have the option of white and then different colors as the sandal collection expands 
but yeah those are the two sandals that are on my fashion radar at the moment so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please give your girl a big thumbs up and let me know if you enjoyed the little fashion radar what's in my shopping basket section so that it would let me know whether to create more videos like that and i hope to see you guys in my next video i love you guys bye